Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you my process in studying for some SAT2 subject tests that I'm going to be taking this August. Here is what my study plan looks like for this summer. As you can see throughout June, I'll be focusing on simply reviewing content, and later throughout the summer, I will do more practice questions and full practice tests. The resource that I'm using to study for my two tests, which are Math 2 and French, are these Barron's Prep books. I'm not an expert or anything, but I do feel like these books have a lot of resources that can help me out, since they have both the content chapter information and they have a lot of practice questions and full practice tests. Now let's move on to the actual studying part of the Study With Me video. As I mentioned earlier, throughout this month, I'll mostly be focusing on just reviewing the content. So right now you can see me taking notes from the chapter informational section of the book. It might not seem like I'm writing that much, and it looks like I'm just really quickly moving on to practice questions, but that's because for the Math 2, it's basically everything that was covered in my pre-calc honors class, which I took in sophomore year, and then in junior year I took calc BC, so some of the stuff was also reviewed. I only wrote down the things that I didn't remember, so I didn't spend as much time taking notes. Instead, after copying down some essential formulas or definitions that I forgot, I focused more of my energy on the practice questions since I think these are really helpful to identify which areas I'm weaker in and correct any misunderstandings and identify which information I tend to forget. So as you can see, after I finished these questions, I took out my red pen and corrected my answers. My studying schedule for math was mostly to do one chapter a day, but in this particular study session I did two chapters because on the previous day I was really busy and just didn't find the time to do the chapter. So yay, at least one of them was pretty short since it only had three questions and I could remember everything since we reviewed that in Calculus BC. Now I'm switching over to studying for the French test, and my methods for this subject were a little bit different since there were a couple of different types of information being presented. Previously, earlier in my notebook, I took notes on grammar, and I'll post pictures of those notes on my Instagram if you want to see more about that. And now I'm doing vocab notes, and the way that I'm structuring my notes is first doing a large section header for each category of vocabulary. So the ones that you're seeing right now are the weather and things related to cars. And then I just copy down two columns. One side is the French word and the other side is the English word. This structure is pretty easy to maintain and it looks pretty nice. And also my main reason for doing this is that I can cover one half of the page and then just use the notebook as flashcards instead of having to make separate flashcards, which takes a lot more effort and also wastes paper. The way I structured my content review schedule for French was a little bit more complicated than the way I did it for math, since as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot more different types of content being presented. So if you want to flip back to the beginning of the video to look at it after I explain verbally, I mostly divided it for grammar, I just did it by section, like verbs on this day, negatives on this day, interrogatives on another, and then for vocab, I divided it up by page number, so I did two pages per day, and on this particular day, as I mentioned earlier, I did a double day workload, like a workload of two days worth of work, so I did four pages of copying down vocabulary words. And if you noticed, I'm doing a new title style that's a little bit different from what I usually do because I just felt like trying something new. So what I'm doing is I'm doing my calligraphy with a black brush pen, pretty much the same as usual, and then using a colored highlighter to add a drop shadow on it. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have advice for these two subject tests or if you're also taking them soon, be sure to let me know in the comments. I upload new videos every Monday, and you can also see pictures of my notes on my Instagram, which is at studyquill. 
See you next time.